This region and Bamenda citizens in particular about the complexity of making, call it constructing or working of the roads in the region by the government. The case in point is the famous Bamenda Babaju Road that has finally attracted the services of a local company, Bones. Yes, the job is ongoing and many more people using that stretch of road are now showing the signs of relief that at least something worth the job is going on. The bitterness in a Bamenda man, which is justifiable, is over the ring road that has taken the twist of disgruntled crying baby who may have the mother's nipples in the mouth, soaking the breast, sleepy, still crying over a considerable dose of anger that is accumulated. Mothers have seen their little hard earnings drain on the, I mean, in the cost of moving on this road for various painful reasons, and many have even ended up just going the world beyond without ever leaving the expected experience of a tar road. Come to think of it, an average Northwesterner has spent almost half his or her lifespan having only a conversation on the abandonment of the ring road. Some politicians have perfectly used the malaise to drum up sentiments and ended up as parliamentarians, only to discover that the drama was more complex than the various scenes observed on stage. They even ended up dropping like cancer. A handful of candidates for various national public entrance examination into various professional schools in the country who live in this part of the region have files of misfortune to demonstrate how the bad state of the roads contributed to their not making it either to the exams or the orals that are usually even just announced at a short notice. The list is long. That notwithstanding, Hope is in the horizon as the much funds that are expected for this road are now available as clarified by donor bodies and, of course, the contract awarded. Expectations are thus high for the prejudice suffered by those on this corridor that it will be history in the nearest future. The worry of this editorialist is more with the misfortune that the Bamenda city dweller is going through in the heart of town in the name of road network. Honestly, to be serious for once, this is placing the dignity of a people on a platform of ridicule. Cars are breaking down minute by minute. People are in hell around the city and there is serious bitterness in the hearts of road users. To be fair to the powers that be, a lot of communication has been done to explain the development of the road tail in Bamenda City. Yes, very convincing, and this demands a little patience on the part of the population. But can something not be done, for the God's sake, to just let people flow and rush us? It is horrible, disgusting, disgusting, and so unacceptable for a people to be subjected to this drama called Road Network. This is the capital of the Northwest region indeed. The town remains the ambassador of the region in all its form. Northwest doesn't import gravel from Russia nor Ukraine. It is produced just around the place. Could some quick measures not be taken to separate this disgrace from the people? True that a lot has been said in, as far as the responsibility of the population over the present situation is concerned. But should people just move along their lifespan with a stigma? This is end of year. This is Christmas. This is the peak period of family meetings. Young people are into weddings. Njangis are getting set for various end-of-year come-together. Families are planning celebrations. Cultural festivals are envisaged. 
at least people need a clean city. All this is necessary to happen. One thing the population is not interested in is who is in charge. They are just anxious to see a job done and done now. Comma.